Want to live over 100 in a healthy way and enjoy your life free of cancer, obesity, and diabetes? Listen up. I will discuss the people of Hansa Valley in northern Pakistan and the Sardinians. There resides one of the world's longest living people. Sardinia is, if you didn't know, the second largest island in the Mediterranean Sea. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetes and a metabolism specialist practicing in Florida. Well, if you think about it, people in this part of the world or this part of Pakistan are pretty isolated and they don't have much access to healthcare. No helicopter will come pick them up and take them to the cat lab in 90 minutes, which is what we are so proud of here in the United States. Hell yeah, we know how to open an artery unless the heart attack ends up with sudden death. And we have chemotherapies that can cost tens of thousands of dollars per month to give a few more years of life to the victim. But wouldn't it be nicer and easier if we did not actually have to deal with the clogged arteries or cancer? Anyhow, let's talk about these Hansa people. They live at a high altitude, they are cut off from the rest of the globe, and Sardinians on the other hand, for example, they're not so isolated, but they both live long. So Hansa people live over 100 years of age typically. But let's ignore the age for a second because the health is more important than the chronological age. The fact is that the Hansa people's elder generations are in perfect health, vitality, and they are disease-free. These folks do not develop cancer. The doctors have determined that the Hansa Valley residents are the only ones who are cancer-free, not the rest of the Pakistanians. What do they consume? Right? That's the question. Hansa people eat largely uncooked and plant-based meals. Okay, don't kill me if you're a carnivore, just hear me out. Fruits and vegetables they eat, as well as unprocessed cereals and cheese are the main state of their diet. Did I say cereal? Wait a minute. Well, remember, cheese and cereals made in those villages are not the same as those you buy at grocery stores. Especially if you are diabetic, there is no such thing as good cereal for you that comes in a package. Cheese is great, especially goat cheese. Again, with moderation. Excessive eating of anything is the major cause of health problems, including diabetes and heart disease. What else do they eat? They eat raw fruits and vegetables throughout the summer. They eat dried apricots, sheep cheese, which is high in omega-3, and sprouting cereals in the winter that they make themselves. They make do with what they have because they are isolated. Most importantly, they do not have access to the processed foods we have in the grocery stores. They eat a lot of fresh foods, mostly fruits and vegetables, and they're mostly vegetarian with occasional meat consumption. Again, nothing against meat, but it is common to see that pattern in populations living longer. They must go also without food for three months. That's a long time. So calorie restriction for a long time induces what? Autophagy, right? We talked about that. They go for roughly three months without eating and just simply drinking dry apricot juice. Why? Because there are, there's not many options out there. In the Western world, we call that what? Juicing, right? They juice. To be honest with you, if you're a diabetic and all you do is drink apricot juice once a day and not eat or drink anything else and just be a little physically active the rest of the day, your blood sugar will be okay, unless your body makes no insulin at all, which is a problem. The problem with the sugar is that people really overconsume it. For example, they will eat cheese, which is fine, at breakfast, for example, then they'll eat some bread with it, okay? Well, then some juice, and then moreover, whatever they want, let's say some sausage or something disgusting like that. Sorry if I offended anyone with, if you're a sausage lover or anything, but I mean, after that, what do they do? They sit down and watch CNN or Fox to get even more pissed off with the other party, either Republican or Democrat, whichever they hate, unfortunately that's the case here, to raise their cortisol levels due to stress and more anger. Nothing comes good out of that. Of course the blood sugar will be high. The Hansa people do not eat or do any of that. 
To make that apricot juice, they probably have to walk a while to get to those apricots and use a lot of effort to make that juice because they don't have machines and to finally drink it. Whereas a typical person would just take five steps to open the fridge, pour some juice into their glass and enjoy it with their bagel and some cream cheese. Well, Hansa people do not get any of that. Do they think that they are missing on something on a Western diet like these bagels and stuff? I don't think so. They've never been exposed. Do you miss crack? No, because you never tried it. I hope so. Bottom line, fasting and eating for very little part of the year or part of the week, whatever it may be, is what they do. We call that intermittent fasting, right? A quick reminder, everyone, put your comments and questions below and that way we can learn from each other. Just follow the community guidelines and be respectful of each other. I love seeing your comments actually and I learned from you too. We will also talk about Sardinians shortly, but before that, let's answer another question. What is this Hansa people's secret? Is it all about food? The Hansa peoples, they're content. They're stress-free and they're in good mood most of the time. They appear to have obtained an optimal diet for their health as a result of the setting and environment they had to live in. But one interesting fact is that they also take cold baths, which happens to activate the brown fat, which increases the metabolism. I do not recommend taking cold baths right away, especially if you have heart disease or if you're not used to it, but you can slowly get into it, which may benefit you in the long term. There's really not much benefit to hot showers, especially if you're diabetic and hot showers will just give you dry skin and some possible dizziness, especially if you are a little over 60 and you have other blood pressure medications on board and stuff like that can cause problems. And yes, genes play a role, but healthy environment play a greater role in making these folks live longer and even look younger. What else? Not only they live and work in the natural world, and are quite active, but they walk a lot every day. Nonetheless, nutrition appears to be the key to their good health. Let's talk about Sardinians. They are also known for their long, long longevity and their healthy lives. We refer to those regions as blue zones. What do they do? Well, they eat a lean plant-based diet with meat as a supplement, meaning that the meat is not the star of the dish. It is more like a small portion when eaten once or twice a week. They also eat whole grain bread that they make, legumes, garden vegetables and fruits, and olive oil. Sardinians also eat pecorino cheese, which is manufactured from grass-fed sheep and is high in omega-3 fatty acids. Remember that? Similar to Hansa people, right? Meat is typically saved for Sundays and other special occasions. They also consume goat's milk. Now, know this. A glass of goat's milk contains compounds that may help protect against inflammatory and aging-related disorders like heart disease and Alzheimer's disease. What else do they do? Well, they drink wine. The amount of Artery cleansing flavonoids in the canal wine is two to three times higher than any other wine. Small dosages of this antioxidant rich beverage throughout the day that they drink could explain why men, especially men in this corner of the world, have fewer heart attacks and they are less stressed. What else gives them a long life other than their diet? Remember the Hansa people? Just like them, Sardinia people also have strong values. They ensure that each family member is looked after. People who grow up in a strong, healthy homes are less likely to experience despair, suicide, or stress. The elderly should be honored in these families. Living alone as an elderly person is probably not the best way to live your life. If that's the case, and if your goal is to be able to live longer, and healthier life, do not be alone. Here are a few words for people that do not have a good relationship with their parents. Listen up. Grandparents can provide affection. They provide childcare, sometimes financial assistance even, wisdom and motivation to help youngsters keep their traditions alive and thrive in their life. All of this could lead to children who are healthier, more well-adjusted, and they will live longer. This practice has the potential to even increase the general population's life expectancy. An activity is the next thing that I'm going to talk about, of course, that will add to their lifespan, we think. For example, walking 8 miles or more a day that typical Sardinian shepherds do, that's all they need for cardiovascular benefits that you would anticipate, plus it improves their muscle and bone metabolism without 
the joint pounding marathons that we do here sometimes, right? Lastly, laugh with your friends. The men in this blue zone are known for their sarcasm. Every afternoon they get together on the streets and they laugh and they laugh at each other. Laughter lowers the stress levels, which can lessen the risk of cardiovascular disease. Well, I hope this video helped you understand a little more what matters and what makes or breaks to have a long, healthy life. Regardless you have diabetes or not, following these principles we discuss will help you obtain a healthier and hopefully a longer life. I hope you learned something today. And if you did, remember to like, subscribe, share, write a comment, and we will see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.